Shall we, uh, we start it up here somewhere? And we come all the way down here. And uh, we broke down about here, just after this bridge. And now we have arrived at this place here. And we're on our way to the top lake. Real Mr. Crabtree stuff is this. But so far, no fish. Well, we just had a stop there, look at the pottery making, and uh, everyone. I've been dying for the toilet. We've been on a boat for three hours. So now we're making our way further upstream or down, or downstream, further downstream uh, to look at some temple. It's a lot warmer now than it was. So we're coming along this little cut here and I think somebody's got stuck. <laughs> There's a little big hole up here. You can't get past one of the one boats wanted to go one way, but you can't get past. So, uh, they're all jammed up there. Oh, we're now in open water. Cutting weeds to take back in that boat for their floating garden. The water is very shallow, there you can stand up with it at this point. If they get weed tangled around the propeller, they just lift it out of the water. Give it, a, give it the gun and it just flings it all off. But sometimes in the air, you, you can't come up, up here in a, a large boat like this. You can only come up on these little flat skiff-like things, otherwise you get stuck. Yeah, for gold is everywhere. In the temples or whatever they are, anyway. As we chug towards the shore, I think this is maybe where we're going to get out. Over there. She's very wary, keeps an eye on me. We've come to this place where they make rice spirits. And this is the sticky rice which they use. Uh, this has been cooked and it's just cooling off. And they put the uh, sticky rice into these containers. They just use the uh, natural uh, yeasts. And in this pot, covered with, uh, well, a sheet of uh, polythene, first of all, and then they sort of look like all rice, rice sacks. The uh, place is full of them, and they leave them there for, here for three weeks to ferment. And once they're fermented, they put them in the still. And there are three stills here. And the alcohol comes across these bamboo pipes and is cooled. And the alcohol collects in these little pots on the end. And it usually comes across at about 40% alcohol, which is pretty strong, and if you want stronger, they take this alcohol and, and they put it back into the still, 
and they bring the percentage up to 60%. And they can, if they wish, put it through again, and they bring it up to 80%. But nobody actually drinks 80% alcohol. 40% is what they normally produce, so that's pretty strong stuff. So instead of a copper worm, which you normally get, you know, you get a copper worm like that where the, the alcohol is cool. Here they've got these pots. There must be double layers. An outer layer and an inner layer. And uh, they contain this cooling water. Well, it's a real cottage industry, and of course here, this is the... Uh, where they get the heat in this uh, pieces of wood, they just keep, as they burn away, they just keep shoving them, <laughs> shoving them in this hole. Yeah. You see this, you see this all over the world, but not usually a cottage industry like here. Uh, in our country, of course, it's strictly controlled by HM Customs and Revenue, or whatever they're called these days. And pay massive amounts of tax on them. Whether they pay tax on this or what, I don't know. Anyway, we are being allowed a taste of this stuff. Oh, we just sample them off of this. This is 40%. This is 60%. And it's like spirits everywhere. <laughs> So best jungle sake. And it's in various different bottles. This is in a, a Grand Royal bottle. And this one is in a Royal Club bottle. Well, I've actually seen it in other places in HP bottles, ketchup bottles. You name it. These are the ladies of the village doing the washing. I would think it's an everyday job. It's, uh, it's clean water. Let me just sort of walk through this village. I think that's a public toilet. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great toilet sitting uh, in me and my with past the lords coming down to the board. You notice the uh, satellite dish there, and they're drying. I think it's uh, bamboo, but it could be anything. And lots of wood. And the mountains behind. These little lads have got a bow and arrow. So we have arrived at this temple with lots of sticky up bits of every description. I think you have to take your shoes off to go in, like all of these places. So many of these stupa have rings on. This is the region of the long neck people. Yeah, you can hear the bells ringing really, because it's a little bit breezy. And everybody's gone inside this this temple. Long trees, a great big trees, really and then, high. And then decide and finish. Yeah, there's no yes. reason for letting a single tree grow in the middle here. Amazing. Uh, that is a palm tree. Some are, uh, that oh, type of tree is the longest tree life in it's our country. It is 200 oh, years, yeah. nothing. For why does it grow here? Normally it's this is, I uh, have a lot of tree mighty. They are cut down, big. cut down, oh. and then... Oh, right. No, 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 Hmm? Now we have to cook anymore. Maybe I will touch it. I'll pass it. Yeah, we'll touch it. It's a lot. 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 It
And also in this temple is this dead Buddha. It looks like a reclining Buddha, but apparently it all depends on the feet. If the feet are together like that, it's a dead Buddha. That's where we've been. On the side of a, a top lake at Inlay. The name of the pagoda was the Tar Kuang Pagoda at uh, Sagan. And it has 236 stupas for those of you who are interested in such things. Well, we're now stuck. <laughs> We're now stuck on some underground obstruction. Ah! But shallow. We'll get the guy to pull us off. There's a lot of boats behind us. The cows are tethered to these. Uh, Lever about it raw. On the back end, you can see it there, the back is full of heavy stuff. Can't really understand why. There are hundreds of trains or herons. Coming in. There must be something in there which uh, has which, uh, which attracted them. They're all coming in at once. I think they're kind of praying. Some of them are really ancient. Some of them are quite modern. We're on our way back now into the big lake. They're selling petrol. No posh cars are there. We're up to the big lake shortly. Very busy, lots of tourists coming down now. Oh, coming with umbrellas. Maybe this is, uh, I think this is our lunch stop. The Golden Kites Restaurant. And it is three o'clock. Let me switch that engine up, it's really quiet. Boats still all bagging up down here. Spray everywhere.
Ik heb er nog een zusje gelaten. I don't really understand how they how they uh, come to wreck these, how they get these piles into the lake bed. Coming to the big lake now. And it will take us about half half an hour, three quarters of an hour. Across the lake, or along the lake, to get back to our uh, hotel. And I suspect once we get into this lake, it will give it rock all. And our tour leader. over this azure blue water with mountains in the background and wreck on a floating rock rock and the temperature is just wonderful when we came down here this morning it was freezing well, we are approaching our hotel through the floating gardens Going up on the hill there, breathing in the sunshine. Last view as we go up here. 